Yeah, we just won because we can just make the big trample haste guy. So we'll get a red. So we have a total of that's four, seven, eight. So X can be seven, right? I'm telling you. Telling you. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. I mean, what are they going to do? Thanks. We won. Yep, Perfro's intervention is overlooked. <laughs> and especially when you have a 4 mana, just big boy, like 5 4. Like, <laughs> get in there. <laughs> yeah. So we can also do this. So as long as we leave 2, so we have a total of 5, 7. So we can cast X for 4. Uh, yeah, right? Did I do math? Yeah. And we swing on in. See, this is a really good, like, way to end the game, like, turn five or something. I mean, we had a bunch of mana, though. But boom, there it is. Well, it's your boy, Big Entity Zach, guys. This is a quick video for you today because I've already sort of covered this deck before. But I actually just hit Mythic rank, and I'm very proud of it. I've hit Mythic every season except for, like, the Kaldheim month there. Uh, for some reason, I sort of took a break during Kaldheim. But I'm back up here, and I have one of my favorite decks, which is, of course, Trample. So you probably clicked on the video for Gnarled Professor, guys. This is a fantastic card. When it enters the battlefield, you can learn. So we're essentially drawing a card. You can always discard a card to draw a card, right? That's something most people don't know. You don't have to access the sideboard. I didn't put a huge amount of emphasis in making a very thorough sideboard. Um, but I have pretty much one card that's sort of applicable for every situation in it. And it gets us out of most situations. Of course, if you haven't seen the Trample deck before, let me just sort of cover some of the cards. Um, and if you do want to watch some good gameplay, I recommend go watching my other video. Because this is very, this is three wins in Mythic, all back to back to back, but very, very quick. And they're all in combination with Nod Professor and Perforos's Intervention. Now, this card is absolutely insane, but I'll come back to this in a second. Because we basically just get a huge trampling creature. And when we have proud wild bonder on the field it can't even be blocked now in the footage today again i did not actually cover um i did not even really cover these cards because i never had long enough games to actually lay some of these cards and again being that i had a video go watch that one instead we do get to lay lotus cobra quite a bit and that's our main ramp piece right and we do have a nice little one drop in the form of Almighty Brushwag, which wins us the game against Rogues. I mean, this makes us bigger than Ruin Crab and Soren Thought Thief and allows us to get in ship damage. And then when we have a big Perforos Intervention next turn, we usually just end up winning the game. This is a very cool card. We can take out creatures and Planeswalkers very easily, very efficiently. And we have one Shock to sort of complement that. Um, we do have two Double Strike and um, Double Power cards. I couldn't decide between the two, so I just went with one of each. I do like this one because it has the Cycling. Um, also in the two drop slot, we have the ability to foretell the battle mammoth. One of the other cards in the, uh, trample shell that, uh, has sort of been under the radar for a while now, because it's, it's just a very straightforward linear strategy, but whenever a permanent you control becomes the target of a spell or ability an opponent controls, you may draw a card. So whenever they target your stuff, we draw a card. Now we don't want them to remove a lot of our stuff because we're just big meaty creatures. So this is great, but of course Quartzwood Crasher. Now, I sort of save this for last because this is the mascot of the deck. This is the best trample creature I know of whenever one or more creatures you control. Hopefully, you can see it. I know my head's cutting it off right now. But whenever one or more creatures you control with trample deal combat damage to a player, create an XX green dinosaur beast token with trample where X is the amount of damage that uh, your creature did to that player. So whenever he hits, like say he hits for six, he gets in clean, we'll make a 6-6. Six, six. Um, I've seen a lot of Embercleave decks, in fact, in my other Gruul deck, which you should go watch, um, this is a very excellent card, uh, because Embercleave allows you to make two creatures, right? The double strike is two instances of combat damage. Very, very crazy. Old Growth Troll can come back. I think in the video, I actually, like, didn't even understand it has to enchant a forest, so make sure you run enough forest, because I think I only had the, uh, Timber Crown Pathway. And then, of course, Cultivate's in here to ramp us. Bone Crusher is a fantastic card, as we all know. One Migration Path. But again, this is a 5-4 Trample. Proud Wild Bonder. Creatures you control with Trample. You may have this creature assigned combat damage as though it weren't blocked. We're going to be getting in a huge 
five damage, doubling it a lot of the times, and with a big Perforosus whatever swinging in. So we can win as early as like turn five, and if we don't, we have a good five drops to lay. Now the last card, Godzilla, lethal damage. Delta creatures you control is determined by their power rather than their toughness. Now it's not too relevant, maybe for things like Lotus Cobra, right? If we can survive a one damage thing, trade with one ones, that can kind of help. Um, it helps our proud, proud wild bind bonder basically be a four four. That's what that basically means. It uses the attack as the defense as well. So this guy is basically a seven seven. Just a nice little addition. And uh, yeah, the mana base we kind of got flooded a couple times. So I would actually lower this, being that we have ramp and we have lotus cobras. Maybe throw in a couple more shocks and stuff. But gosh, the power of Perforous Intervention. This this video might be the best video I've seen on YouTube showcasing this card. <laughs> so if you want to see this card today, Brushwag do a little work, uh, Bone Crusher take out some things, and Naro Professor just be a great four drop. This is a video for you. Again, I just hit Mythic and won three straight in Mythic. So thanks for clicking the video. Um, leave a comment, guys, about your favorite Strixhaven cards. I know it's a little bit of an underwhelming set. Um, leave me a comment about Naran Professor and what sideboard I should maybe run. Oh, almost didn't cover that, guys. So we have Environmental Sciences. Got to run this, right? Start from scratch. Can take out little one drops or maybe like end a Planeswalker's life, right? Very, very niche situation for that, but it also just destroys the artifacts. So this is a flexible card. Expanded Anatomy is very good in certain situations. Again, we have Trample, so two counters could be very good as well as Vigilance. So keep that in there. Containment Breach, right? Takes out all manner of stuff from, uh, you know, Glass Casket to um, any of the ramping artifact two drops right now. So very good, very good. Basic Conjuration, uh, yeah, you know, gain a little bit of life, a little bit of reach against aggro, and uh, it's a six card dig. So that can definitely find us the best creature out of a six, which is nice. Introduction to Annihilation, they draw a card, but uh, Exiling can be super clutch, I meaning we have not so much interaction in this deck at all uh, and mascot exhibition is just a seven drop if we get flooded and uh we need to rebuild after a board wipe or something and it's a mythic so play it it's cool cool art so anyway guys this is the deck thanks for tuning in my name's zach again and uh don't forget to like it subscribe for more and thank you very much enjoy the games yo what's up guys so this should be game number one against lulu do pretty good hand we got the cobra so you know it's a gg um, Unleash Fury comes in as a one of here, this cool little card. Since we will be getting a lot of big boys, um, which we should search for now. Now, I did just hit Mythic. I'm really excited about it, guys. Uh, I grinded super hard through Diamond uh, the last couple days. Sorry I haven't put a video out. Let's lower the volume as well. Sheesh. That should help a little bit. Okay. Maybe two more notches. All right, let's go ahead and drop the Cobra, even though they might destroy it. I think since we have another one, it's okay to try that. Let's get the volume up to there. But uh, yeah, guys, hope you're doing okay. Thanks for tuning on in. Of course, we don't have, again, our Trample Boys. But we will be showing them off. Stay tuned for that. We have a pretty good play next turn because I think he's just going to have this Fervent on the field. So. Is he frozen? Come on. Let's go. Interesting. Okay, so. What was I doing? I almost forgot to lay the Cobra. Okay, so we'll lay this as a green. Get a red. Beautiful. Take out this guy. So that's like a pretty common play. We got our Perforos' Intervention, which is actually a really nice card. Um, you can take out basically anything as long as x is like you know at least two right you can take out most things that are four um and then if it's three you can take out pretty much anything from elder gargaroth to like ugans and stuff that just came in and wiped some stuff so anyway okay he named knight well definitely gotta do this we really need to get our uh, our big boys wherever they are Oh my gosh, I'm trying to click. <laughs> Let's go. I was like, wait, did I click the red there after all that? Okay. So, <clears throat> pretty uh, pretty decent. Um, 
you know, we're not sad about the cover getting removed. We just simply don't need it anymore. Bone Crusher uh, will at least trigger for two if they do remove it. And uh, we can basically ping anything huge. Uh, so, okay. Decent enough. We really, really want our big boys so they can start swinging and getting on in. Um, ooh, a card that I should have thrown in here. I've tested a bunch of different versions, but I want to do like a Naro Professor thing. Um, and speak of the devil. Um, let's do this. I forgot what I was going to say, but I know it was good. Um, we can get that. Yeah. Take out one of those. Go ahead and swing. Um, yeah, I like the idea of this containment breach, right? Uh, it destroys something. We don't get the pest, right? But pretty good card. Um, and of course, I think we have that other lesson, which also is the same equivalent. It's three, three mana. So I should have gone over the sideboard a little bit better there. Um, but yeah, Naro Professor is just a good body, you know, five, four for four trample and basically getting you an extra card. So pretty good to me. Um, or it looks pretty good to me rather. Okay. Well, that's fine with me. We can double the power of Gnarled here. You get in a pretty big swing. We can also do this. So as long as we leave two, so we have a total of five, seven. So we can cast X for four. Um, yeah, right? Did I do math? Yeah. And we swing on in. See, this is a really good like way to end the game, like turn five or something. I mean, we had a bunch of mana though. But boom, there it is. Boom, now our professor is good. <laughs> All right, so that's uh, mythic, eighty-four percent, meaning I am um, sixteen percent away from the top twelve hundred players. That's how that works. So sixteen percent of me. Of the player base that made it to mythic this season right that's the differentiating uh percentile very confusing but that's how it works all right guys game number two pretty good hand i think that first game was pretty decent we saw the power of uh you know just saving one of those instants for a good swing and getting in with a uh, perforosis intervention and sealing the deal of course lotus cobra is our engine in the early game um, it really helps also getting to this three green since we are a two color deck. Um, yep, yep, yep. Oh, I'm getting a call. Why am I always getting calls from like important things? Like right when I'm trying to get into my trample deck, yo. It's probably like some PG in here or something. <laughs> get out of here. Okay. Boom, bam, bing. Okay, pretty good by the opponent there. Yeah, I think we just get down the boy. Um, I wish we had a shock. It would be perfect, right? Get down the troll, take out the edge wall. But uh, I think we get down this guy here. Now let's think about it a little bit more than the last game. We got this last time, but... I think we might just want the environmental sciences. Yeah. It's probably the move. Um, yeah, we can swing and get two damage in here. I think that's fine. Hopefully he doesn't have a ramp spell here and can make the brush fire larger than gnarled. Big boy. Okay. Decent, decent. Okay. All right. So what we need to do, unfortunately, gosh, if we had one more mana, right? Okay. Let's do this. And 
and get rid of all of that annoying stuff. Unfortunately, we can't use that last mana. We don't swing. And now we're in a great position, right? We can drop the Cobra. Ooh, that's bad. But now I'm glad we waited for a better target. Fortunately, he'll get a treasure out of it. Probably could have done something better there. Why would he swing? That's weird. Why would he swing with that? Not that it would really matter, but since he can't block anyway. But, um, okay. So, lay the Cobra. So, okay, we'll get a couple reds. Get one green, one red. Why can't I click these circles? So, we need the Perforos for it deals double damage. So, X needs to be uh, two. So, bam. Get rid of that guy. All right. Um, I actually wanted to use, dang, I kind of messed up there. But we can actually take out the, the dude. No, 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 no. I'm being dumb. I'm being dumb. Swing. Yeah. See if he blocks. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Bear with me. Let's get in a big swing here. Let, let's get in this type of damage so that he has to, like, play defensive. Because he only has a little win-one on the field. We can do a big perforous intervention and end the game if he commits to an attack, which he probably will. And he doesn't. Perfos intervention, man. I'm telling you, this card is insane. Um, yeah, we just won because we can just make the big trample haste guy. So we'll get a red. So we have a total of that's four, seven, eight. So X can be seven, right? I'm telling you, telling you. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. I mean, what are they going to do? Thanks. We won. Yep. Perforous intervention is overlooked. <laughs> and especially when you have a four mana, just big boy, like five, four, like, <laughs> get in there. <laughs> yeah. Cobra's there. Let's go. So, anyway, guys, uh, it's ramp, layer big boys, end with a big double swing and a, and a, and a perforos and stuff. So anyway, guys, uh, let's do, let's do one more. Hey guys. So game number three, um, I actually just played some one on one cause they, uh, disconnected and it took a hundred years to get through. <laughs> I just had to wait for like six timers or whatever it is. Jeez. Um, so I took this hand because of the off chance we're going to be able to ping something on uh, turn two, but it uh, looks like a crab. Darn. This is gonna be a rough matchup. Um, Master Ninja here might be playing Rogues, or he might just be playing Mill. Either of which, probably very annoying for us. Let's see what we can do, though. Hmm. So, yeah, lay this. Goodbye. Okay, he did not have the Thieves Guild Enforcer because it didn't prompt him to flash anything. So a little trick of the trade, right? If you're playing in real life, you can be able to tell that. But uh, on Arena, you can. Okay, so not a very explosive start by him, I must say. But neither by us. Yeah, that's the best play. Seems bad, but it is. Oh, why am I laying so many reds? Probably should have laid the green there, just in case I just wanted to, uh, eh, well, matter. Okay, so we're in Thought Thief. Yeah, we need three damage against this deck. It's so frustrating. But if I've learned anything, go big or go home. Got a bunch of mana in the hand. Feels bad. Feels bad, guys. 
why is that happening? It like was never happening before. Right, I went for the cold bait, so guess I got what I asked for. Okay, so we have pump spells. So we have four, but we can lay this. <laughs> Boom. Yep. So we can hopefully just run them over, unless they're running like... They could be running Extinction Event, but they would have to take out their crab to take out the Bone Crusher and the Bush Wagon stuff. Could be fine with it though. Ooh, the Fabled. Ooh, we're at 31. 31 in the middle, guys. Where are our big trample creatures? Like... Where are they? I've run them in the deck. In the Dekaruski. There they are! Beautiful! Beautiful! Now he might go for a counter. I could have probably almost won the game there, but I didn't want to overcommit. That's what I'm gonna do. This what I'm gonna do, guys. So if I pump for four, I can still fabled passage and actually lay the thingy. So yeah, pump for four. This is what I'm going to do, guys. Because I just committed to doing one. Okay, that's not bad. That's kind of what I saw coming. Something, something was coming. Okay, Fabled. Oop, second red for show. Get the green here. Get that young green. Sure, whatever. Whatever. Bam. If he counters it, we'll be out of the counter. But now we have the Crasher. The Crasher, whenever one or more creatures you control with trample damage, deal combat damage to a player, we created XX based off how much damage we did. So you throw an Ember Cleave on and it hits twice, you'll get like two seven sevens out of the deal. Um, pretty, pretty crazy. Um, yeah, very powerful deck. We're winning like easily here. Yo, so you made it to the end of the video. I know that was really quick today, guys. Uh, it wasn't meant to be a long one again because I've already covered this deck. So that's why Old Growth Troll is a good card from Kaldheim. We didn't really get to see it shine, though. But Perforos Intervention really shined. Lotus Cobra did his thing. These cards are fantastic, right? Both Raking Claws and Unleash Fury. Um, Nara Professor is just an absolute all-star. We didn't get to show off Proud Wild Bonder again because I have footage of it. And uh, Battle Mammoth, you know, Quartzwood didn't really get to do their thing. I know it was quick. So go watch that video if you want to see better gameplay. Definitely um, involving these big creatures more. And uh, have a great one. Thanks. Bye.